Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to Captain of Industry. I'm the captain, this is my ship. It doesn't move, but this is my ship. And everyone on it is subject to my laws, my whims, my decrees, however you wish to phrase it. You are mine. Insert evil laughter here. Yes. No. Okay. But yes, welcome back to Captain of Industry. Um, I mentioned this at the end of last time, but the focus for today is actually going to be on people. Stupid, filthy, needy things. People. Mm. They demand I give them food. They give them clean water. They don't like living with sewage in the streets. How very, very uncouth of them, I say. Only the civilized people live with sewage in their streets. It's good to see that that's actually running properly again. So I'm there. <laughs> Just double check to make sure. But yes. Well, let's, let's be honest. Removing that particular aspect of, of quote unquote civilization did bring massive health benefits, so I guess I'll give history the benefit of the doubt for that one. But yes. Our goal here is to deal with the people. Honestly, I have kind of ignored that situation for 270 odd years. Basically, it's a case of. Oh, we don't have enough um, cramped housing to pit everyone into? Slap down another block. There you go. Be happy. Stop complaining. That's basically how I've been treating the problem. Just browsing around really quickly to have a look further and see how things are going. Partial oil setup operational is doing the job. Uh, the, the This did, did suffer a shutdown for, for a little bit. But um, that was before I adjusted it, the production, so like that's all running properly. And there's still a massive hole in the wall. There we go, that's the important stuff caught up on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Housing. The thing is, I've had some conflicting information here, which I'm somewhat concerned by. Um, I think it was Heights that mentioned to me a while back that um, you don't want to demolish these because... It, rather than moving your workers, it outright deletes them. Hmm. If that is genuinely what happens, that it might be a slight issue because I plan to bulldoze some stuff as I rejig. So, let's do this properly, shall we? I'm going to put down housing too. I am low on materials, kind of housing ones. I'm not entirely sure why. I should be producing them at a steady rate, but... Um, yeah. The warehouse is building up a little bit, so I'll leave that be. I'm going to build down housing too. So still got way more supplies for that. Pop it there. Quick build because this is a check. Notice, by the way, I have 2695 out of 27 people, so I'm only short two, like five people. But if I build this and then scrap another unit of the same size we'll find out if it's going to be an issue or not. I can absorb the hit. I have um, nearly enough spare work. No, I have, yeah, I have enough spare workers to absorb the hit if I just delete them, but uh, let us try and see. I delete you. Good. The numbers don't seem to have disappeared. Very good, okay, right. <sighs> the big question is now, what happens if I do that and there isn't enough housing? <sighs> you know me, I've got to push the science, I've got to do the tests, I've got to try and make sure. So I build up a level 1, housing for 70, which is a good 60 people short of housing 2. And then I'll scrap another housing 2 just to check and see what the hell happens. Curiosity doesn't hurt anyone, except for the people I may be forcing into the perpetual state of non-existence. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. Yes. Okay. Delete. Hmm. Good. Confirmed. Not a problem. Of course, there are people living in shipping containers, but uh, I'll go ahead and approve the upgrade so they won't be shouting at me for that one. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was... Um, a piece of information I had, and I was legitimately concerned about it. But uh, it seems like 
it's, it's out of date and it got fixed at some point. Okay, right, so. Continue with the housing. Let's do the housing. I want to find the housing. It's right there, you idiot. Right. So we have got some decorative stuff. We've got square with column. We've got a square with light. And a square with, square with dark. No, it's not with dark. It's just dark. It's the paving. Okay. Now the question is, what do they? What do these things even do? Let's check the research tab and find out if there's any more information. Squares. Doesn't seem to be any information really. It's just settlement decorations. And I think there's no more from that. If I have a look real quick. No, there is not. Well, I've got to remember the next update is bringing the whole paving thing in. But uh, okay, let's let's put down a couple of these and see what they look like. Hmm, very nice. Okay, so they all have an outer layer of the decorative slabs. The dark ones then switch to denser tile work on the inside, and other than that, there is no real difference. The column has an anchor, which I assume represents me and my authority as the captain. Hmm, I am in charge. You respect my authority. Yes. Other than that, these guys don't actually have any stats. Um, they... They don't really affect that. That is... Oh, they, they provide 100 waste capacity to each to the settlement. I think that's in total, though. When I scrap one, what does that change? I don't think it does. Yeah, that's still 100. That only stores 200. Uh, that's 200. That's 200. Okay, I don't know where that 540 is coming from. Uh, probably depends on the size of the place in total, but okay, yeah, right. Right, so we know what these look like now. Can I not demolish you? More importantly, how have I lost the demolish command? <laughs> of course it's down there. Settlement must remain contiguous. Oh, that might be a problem. Is it genuinely not possible to... <laughs> okay. Oh no, if it's the last one possible, then I can scrap it. Okay. I thought from over there it was going to block me from deleting the darn thing. Right. So another thing which I'm wondering is... Where are the potatoes? Oh, 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 we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a backup of wheat. Which is genuinely not doing anything as far regarding the lack of potatoes. Hmm. I, mean, I shouldn't be short on potatoes. That's the thing. I mean, all of my farms are configured to grow potatoes at some point. Same with vegetables. So that's probably overdoing it a bit. I mean... Um, trying to get food production sorted out a little bit is a bit of a thing. But this is an issue. Wheat. Can I convert wheat into... I can. I never built an overflow into this system to cope with excess wheat or soya like I did over here. Okay, I'm just going to have to fix that real quick. Right. Not the prettiest thing. I mean, I'll be honest, I think this particular kind of system will get a lot more compact once the next update hits, because being able to put these filters and things up off the ground will let me just create a vertical stack that will sort all this out. But anyway, not much else to be said here. We have got um, the soil filter into a priority overflow, which will prioritise that. I need to 
do that now actually prior to the out. Right out, there we go. Right. And unlike on this bit here, which I built a bit too close together and then didn't fix, must be honest. Um, I don't have individual feeds back into the overflow line. Instead, if something is excess, it's dumped back onto the primary line. And then, of course, it won't be filtered out by the following filters, so the primary line then doubles back and onto the overflow line. Which, of course, takes this and dumps any food I don't really need into the mixer to create animal feed. Which apparently I do need, but yes. That eel is going to sort that out and it'll fix that, so it won't clog up the line. I kind of thought it never would. That's why I didn't have these overflows in place for wheat and soya, but apparently... Apparently I've got a warehouse absolutely chock full of bread. <laughs> My people are not eating enough bread. How very dare they. On the plus side, though, it does seem to be some potatoes feeding through, so that'll help, but... I shouldn't have run out in the first place, I don't know what's going on with that. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 16, I make about 31 players. And I use about 21 potatoes, so I, sh I exceed production by roughly 50%. Shouldn't be having a problem. Ha! Huh. Weird. Very weird. Anyway. Let's go ahead and keep on going. I've built some more housing districts. I'll keep on doing that. They're actually something I should do while I think of it. Let's get to a comment, shall we, please? We have a comment from Happy Hafer. As I double-check my money tower. You are not dumping anything. I'll tell you you can dump dirt. Of course, the dump's down there, but I just want to fill in this bit here behind the hole. What would be good is if I fill the hole in the first place. Right, yeah, comment. Uh, from Happy Afo on the last one. Uh, we have one-fifth of the oil production we need. That is kind of what I meant with the question before. Do you really need such a big oil... Sorry, big production of natural gas? Though I too didn't think the question where your giant production areas get their resources from. Yeah, there's a lot of bottleneck in there somewhere, isn't there? Oh, the corner... Good. And a couple of these guys. And good. And we'll rush those to make sure that they get fixed before people start throwing dirt all over the place. Because, of course they will. Right. And I said going to comments with this because that is the next part of the comment about um, this wall. About your mining pit setup problems with collapsing walls. I think in real life they use a spiral path to get to the bottom, not a staircase like Snaking Road. Maybe that is a better approach. Well... To be honest, I was kind of starting to do that. Uh, let's continue to see what else. Or maybe they just left enough space between the ramp sections that the ground doesn't collapse. I guess doing it most six height difference per one extra width per U-turn section is easy enough to remember. And I did it for something this game could use. A giant elevator. Getting to and from the depth of the pit without the need for ramps would be quite nice. Honestly, that would be very useful to have a lift, just a lift they could send the trucks down on. In real life, yeah, they do... Um, do as you said like a staking road going down but they also kind of tier it as well like they don't go one big one like this they go down a certain level then there's um, a ring around then they go down to the next level and then there's still a ring there so that's part of how they keep it stable usually in real life they have the rings my issue i think stems from the fact i was basically taking the retaining wall size and skipping it and trying to force my way straight down it on a single slope if I paused for stability, and if I wasn't trying to cram these walls so tight together, they're at risk of collapse, which is actually what happened there, then I wouldn't have had this problem. I just tried to condense it into too small a space, and it shows. Why are you out of fuel? We have fuel. Hmm. One issue going on with this is... The fact there's no actual balancer capable of sorting around, also there's of course the lack of fuel too, but there's no balancer dictating what goes where. This is a single storage and then it splits off equally between the two sections because it's got two output pipes, one to each. 
so... Looks like, yeah, we just flat out need more oil anyway. Let's let's take care of that real quick. Back off. And, um, battle, battle then. I will take over this coal mine. Actually, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Take over the coal mine. Um, my oil rigs. What are they doing? You are paused. I want you to be going full. And you're out. Oh, you're waiting for a delivery as well. Okay. Hang on. Right. Where's my boat? Just leaving. Okay, I'll sort that in a moment. Right. <laughs> Moving on. What I'm thinking is putting housing like this, right? Spreading it out, this is a seven wide by one, two, three, four, five deep in its current space availability. But I also want to work in more storage because I'm kind of tired of this constant warning. Low food supply, low food supply, get more food. You require additional pylons. No. I'm thinking of working in some bigger fuel storage. Well, technically, food is fuel for the machine that is the human body. So I guess it fits. But yeah, I think I need more storage flat out just to try and deal with some of this stuff. And also room for more because there are more food types as well. I wonder if that's a better food market. <laughs> mm, uh, nope, Mark 2 is the best we get. Unless a supermarket turns up. Is there a supermarket? That's what's in the right keys, wouldn't it? No, no supermarkets. Okay, fine. Okay. Because there is one lesson part else onto the comment. Um, well, actually, there's two bits. As I click the wrong place and cancel out the comment completely. My apologies, one second. I swear I'm usually a bit more... Well, no, I'm not usually a bit more organised than this, am I? Let's be frank there. As I put down... You know what? Let's mark the corners with light squares. Sure, that'll do. Right. Um, continue on. Those dumping trucks look so funny doing their jobs. First, because they dump in front of them while the animation dumps behind them. Uh, second, because they wobble as the ground shifts under them. I get why they work like that from a program perspective, it's probably easy to fix. But it's too funny to watch and I ho hope they never change it. Yeah, I don't think they will change that, I mean... Yeah, I know I know why as well, it's like watching them bob around as they fill in the ground underneath their own front tyres, that's kind of a thing. But... Not so much now because we've got an area, but back when it was just this bit. How would they do if they were properly tipping? Would they we realise they can't turn around in this gap, so they stop here in this area, turn around, and then just back up down the way. <laughs> that would be fun to watch as well, but it's like... Um, hmm. Unfortunately, it's something that might not get sorted out, because there's technically nothing wrong with it. Trucks are a bit silly, though, sometimes, yes. You'd, you'd think that truck driver wouldn't be too happy, like he's about to go off the, the edge of, into the water, but... Nope, he just happily dangles his front axle over the edge. <laughs> ah, oh, that's a thing. Um, ah, I think I think have the comment is actually missing a piece in the next part. Um, because it goes on about your power issues, comma blank. There's nothing there. Maybe the co maybe the comment got too long. That is a thing that happens sometimes. But lastly. Sorry about. Sorry for the rambly episode. Why are you apologising for that? Your stream of consciousness rambling is part of your charm. If we didn't like that, we wouldn't be watching. It makes you feel more approachable and gives us topics to sympathise and interact with you. So keep it going. I will try. I'm trying not to. Well, something I've always strived for is like um, 
treat this as a hobby, not a job. I'm not going to force it out and say, hey, 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 stop, 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 give me, give me your views, give me your clicks. I want to get that filthy, filthy revenue money. Yes, give it to me, yes. No. I've never been popular or driven enough for that. So it's like, um, honestly, I play for fun and I try to be myself about it. And if that is appreciated, that's even better. So yes, thank you very much for that one. Where do all the markets here? I'm thinking I'll leave this as a recess. Markets can go on these sides here. And then I have room for some bigger storages nearby as well, just to feed into them. And then to drive home to the citizenry that um, they owe their prosperity to me. Got to, got to prioritise these things, yes. You'll be a housing, you'll be a housing. And I think... Yeah, you'll be a housing as well. I keep looking at that one actually and thinking that that is a, a blueprint that's not been built yet. That's might be an issue. Maybe I should probably switch off that one. Housing there. This one... It has the old transformer. I can actually get rid of that. I'll also bulldoze the clinic as well. I mean, sure it's there, but it's not actually fed with supplies, so it's not really doing much of anything. Because then I can demolish that. No, can't because there's elements waiting on it. And then this will be a big gathering slash festive area, like the heart of the city. This is where the markets are. This is where you go to get your rations and your your specialty foods and your goods and whatever else it might be. And it to drive home the fact that it is by my grace you are supplied. I will frame it with columns of captaincy. I, I do like that quick removal. Quite handy. Frames with captaincy. And if you wish to bask in my glory, I'll, I will graciously provide seats where you can contemplate on the look that brings you to this island and into my tender care. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I lean into that kind of thing far too easily. But ah uh, well. Right. So, utilities, fine. Hospital's fine. Food is the big one. There's also the waste over here. Um, I guess I could move that. Well, this is this has turned into my general utility side, hasn't it? Let's let's actually shuffle that over. So we're gonna figure out where it is. There it is. Right. Waste collection. Then I can move that, and we're just cleaning up the area a bit. Now, of course, there is that the fact that that one's a tier three. Let's go ahead and. We can afford one more. But my glass production is not keeping pace. Then again, gotta remember, my glass production is this lot over here. <laughs> Super advanced glass setup. Actually, that might be better as part of the smeltery section over here. That's something to think about. There's also the fact that I'm not entirely sure what um, you can do to mix up different things like can you assign multiple sections of this to multiple routes I don't think you can because when you arrange the trade routes you are setting up the actual you know you're setting up the actual length of the ship you're going to send for the trade routes so I don't think you can have like sections on different things even if the ship looks like you probably can but anyway, this, this area is enough, good enough for, uh, to get some cargo depots into it. I'm going to put these as far out as possible. I'm going to leave room for them to hit um, maximum size. The question becomes, how close can these things actually get to unify them? And the answer is not that close at all. Look at that, I need to actually bag it off, like, over here for the next one. In fact, that's fine enough that it's actually missing the part where things are actually properly filled out. There's a little divot in the side right there. 
Hmm. So, trying to apply what I've learned from this section here, and honestly, maybe having just a stretch of, just an, a single like an artificial pier would probably work better. I mean, yeah, it would have to be like out here where the docks are, but we could put them back to back and have them really close together. That that would actually probably work a lot better, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's try to do that at the very least. So, I've got to mark the dumpling. Going to mark one down because that's where the thing goes. And then it just like stretches out and away. So it's going to have to go out pretty far, actually. Mm. Look at this. Iron Mark III actually having an idea of something. How strange is that? <laughs> Though how I'm going to get down to this is also an issue. I don't want to dump it using the rest of the stuff. I want to actually dump that using slag for the first slope. So I'll have to get that one filled in and then go and access the rest of it. Anyway, yep, yeah, moving on. I'm sorry, that 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 took a bit of uh, figuring out, didn't it? I'm sorry, I just wanted to include this here. Um, I was checking around to see what modules I might be missing as far as supplying my my uh, people with things is concerned. I'm missing household appliances and consumer electronics seems like. But I stumbled upon something kind of funny. Let's double check this one just to be sure. Right, so mainframe module. Computing is apparently a resource we get later on. But then, just in here, there's a little thing. Data center. Data center is used to host server racks that you add to it. It is highly scalable and makes computing more affordable. Each added server rack provides computing. It is worth noting that each server rack has its power, cooling, and maintenance demands. However, some people say that all it does is to persist and search in a vast collection of pictures of cats and memes. We were not able to debunk this. So, <laughs> I found a funny thing while just looking through the um, future research list. <laughs> and I wanted to include that, so there we go. Even on this island, we are not free from memes and cat pictures. Such is the way of the world. Another little tidbit here from... Well... Hmm. <sighs> a little tidbit here from the um, our big old concrete plant. It turns out we've got a problem. Yes, I know. I Mark 3, what are you on about? There's never any problems. All of your setups always work perfectly. First off, thank you. Second off, I'm not God. <laughs> so, uh, right, so what's happened? Basically... I ran out of stone. I had those big stockpiles of stone over there, and my diggers are bringing up stone quite often. But apparently I've run out. Hmm. Strange, huh? And one thing I never did was I never actually installed a backup. I mean, the original concrete plant actually had a backup for this, but this one doesn't. So what I'm going to do is... Slag. No, not slag crushed. I just want regular slag. Because we, are, we do make a steady stream of that. And rock... And I will put in a uh, thing. There we go. U-shape balance. Right there. And was that a tier two? It was a tier two. So nice and easy. Bish bash boss straight in there. I do have to get this back in front. Oh, apparently I can just knock it up over the fence there. Okay, sure. So, it gives, gives a bit more direct access to the ones back there, and then this one just, like, comes down. Like that. 
Ist ja mal ja Bäh. That was not quite how I wanted it to go, but apparently that's what I'm doing. So, right. <laughs> oh, this game never goes how you want it to do, does it? Okay, so that that's all it's going to do. I'm going to tell it to Priority Stone, I guess. I mean, we get we apparently all of our stone has been consumed by this concrete plant, and that's why I was having such trouble with Tier One materials. I just I didn't realize my concrete had ground to a halt again. First it was because of the lack of fuel gas, then there was a lack of people. Now it's a lack of stone. <laughs> There's always something. There's always something. But without that, I was struggling to get these proper things built. Okay. And it's almost time to do something about this area. Well, it is a start. Ooh, is that tofu? You will accept eggs. You will accept veg and corn. And you will accept the ever elusive potatoes and bread. No, bread. There we go. Right. Hey! So I may or may not have accidentally, um, well, Started so tearing down the first one, didn't have the ill one quite ready, people unhappy, and started starving. <laughs> well, that's one of the problems with messing around with this kind of stuff, I suppose, isn't it? But things are getting delivered just fine. I will, however, tell them to turn off vehicle delivery, because the silos and things are put back here, the storage feeds. A wall set to priority 5, so this is high priority feed line. And trucks will try to keep it as full as possible as they can. But yeah, no one died of starvation, but I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's fine. I apparently I do have too much sulfur though. So I'll turn you guys back on. And I will go ahead and come live over here. Everything's great. Starvation? Don't know what you're on about. Also, I can't be trusted with people, can I? Okay. And no one from you here because you're too low. Okay. Right. So, that's about it for the episode. Let's, um. Not loading that onto the ship. So what I've got really is, I have updated my stuff. Who's that there? We don't have household goods, we don't have clinics yet. But we do have the space ready for storage to feed those. I even planted some trees. Yes. Aren't I nice? <laughs> but I think this settlement is now... We still got the room to expand, which I think was it was a bit a bit too cramped around here before. Now it's got a bit more space. It's definitely got plenty of housing because, well, we lost a, um, a person or two. To um, routine redundancy and retirement, yes. Nothing happened. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to end it there though because we have definitely made some progress. I feel like this is better organized and ready to go. I didn't do the changeover smoothly, but we've got it. And the last two modules will fit in the sides here as well, so this will be pretty good for our stuff going forward. I'm only going to put like, um, by the way, class one and two storages to feed the stuff in the middle here, because that's more of a routine thing. These bigger storages are deliberately to try and handle the whole you don't have enough food and reserve warning that keeps going on. It was to you, wasn't it? Yeah, deliver. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna call it there though. I wanted to double check just to make sure, but apparently no we haven't Oh I never set the dump order, that's why. There we go. Get that fixed. 
but we'll do that. We'll, we'll check on that next time. But yeah, end it there. This has been I'm Mark Three. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, the seating in Repentance Square is not there yet, but um, the seating around the edifices to my glory are definitely working. So yes, mm, yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Yes. Um, oh, just having the thing is giving me a warning that there's not enough goods available. I'll have to deal with that next time. Why is there a waste issue in this element? Oh. Apparently I never built that. Come on, Mark 3 you're, you're wrapping things up. Why are you suddenly finding more stuff to do? Oh, because, let's be fair, waste in this element is a bit of an issue. I don't know if there's anywhere I can trade to grab those either. So all I can do is try to prioritise getting them sorted out. Why aren't you working? You are... Lack of concrete. Lack of people. <sighs> Suddenly being shy a whole bunch of workers is actually kind of painful. Let's half shut down this. And boost. Oh wait, it's not... What are you short on then? You are short on... Oh. Oh, it's, it's setting. I never told it it could use slag to make crushed slag. I got the feed sorted out and everything, but I never told it it could actually do it. So... Whoops. Uh, yeah, end the end the show. Stop doing the thing. Right, yeah, so... Have you enjoyed the show? Um, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Especially comment on how easy I can foul up the simplest of operations. Because, well, I do that sometimes. Mm. Um, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, gives me those virtual headpats I oh so crave. I will catch you all some other time. Where hopefully... My people won't be starving, my trucks won't be idle, and everything will be happy and beautiful forever and ever. If I pause that, will the symbol go away? No. Until I remedy that, they are going to complain forever that they don't have household goods. Okay. <laughs>